Welcome everyone to Steam Powered Stories, a story time driven by a science, technology, engineering, art, or math component. I'm Yvonne, a children's librarian at the Manchester City Library, and every week we will read a book and do an activity powered by Steam and inspired by the Manchester City Library's summer reading program, which is Tales and Tales. These are designed for grades three to five, but if you enjoy them, then we are glad that you came. All right, let's get started with this week's steam powered story. Hello everyone, and welcome back to steam powered stories, summer reading program edition here at the Manchester City Library. Um, today we are looking at animal engineering. Um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun and we're going to be looking at bridges today. So the story that I've chosen to share with everyone today is The Three Silly Abilities by Marjorie Palantini and illustrated by Barry Moser. I also want to thank Simon & Schuster Books for Young Readers for allowing us to share this with you digitally today. All right, let's take a look at the story. The Three Silly Billies. Our first look at those three silly billies. The three silly billies were ready to kick up their heels and have some fun in the sun. They packed up their old jalopy and with a spit, chug, and a honk, off they tootled. Down the hill, through the woods, went the billies until they came to a small wooden bridge that crossed a very deep river. Right here they are. They've got some diet goat and they are indeed approaching a bridge. Clickety clack, clickety clack, clickety clack. Who is crossing my bridge? shouted a grumpy, stumpy little man who was blocking their path. Where are the billies? Billy Bob, Billy Bob, and just plain Billy. Explained the biggest Billy, who was Bob. We're revved up and ready to roll. Hold your horsepower, said the little man with a stamp and a stomp and a snort. This is a troll bridge. I'm the troll. Now start passing the buck. There is our troll. A buck, said just plain Billy, but that's four quarters. Ten dimes, twenty nickels. A hundred pennies, that's one whole dollar. This isn't just a freeway, said the greedy, grumpy little man. Just show me the money. Billy Bob had thirty cents. Billy Bo had twenty cents. As usual, just plain Billy had no sense at all. No matter how they ended up, the three silly Billies did not have enough money to pay the to pay the troll. Let's see, how many is that? You have 30, 30 plus 20 is one, two, three, two, 50 cents. That's what, only half of what they need. Look at them. They just cannot find any other Coins. But the middle Billy, who was Bo, had an idea. What we need is a carpool. We can share the fare. So Billy Bob opened the trunk. Billy Bo pumped up the pool. And just plain Billy fetched some pails of water. With a splish and a splash and a slosh, the three silly Billies grabbed their rubber duckies and jumped into the carpool. We'll just wait and wait for someone to jump in and join us, said Billy Bo with a bob. The troll grumbled, crazy kids. He took his, he shook his head at their silliness and stomped back to his toll booth. Uh, is that what a carpool normally is? I mean, when I've done a carpool, that's where you and some friends get into one car, so you only have to take one car somewhere. But I don't know, this one looks a lot more fun. And then, clickety-clack, clickety-clack, clickety-clack. Who's crossing my bridge? 
shouted the troll. It's just us, the three bears from the other side of the river, answered the big papa bear. We're taking a walk through the woods before dinner. Looky here, Teddy, said the little man with a stamp and a stomp and a snort. You'll be eating, all you'll be eating is dust from detour de jour, unless you start coughing up some coins. Hmm. Does not seem nice at all. Oh dear, said Papa Bear, looking in his wallet. I only have one thin dime. Oh my, said Mama Bear, peeking into her purse. I only have one wooden nickel. Think a wooden nickel is very useful? Baby Bear cried. Don't count on me. I don't even get it an allowance. The troll grunted. Take a hike. Mama Bear fretted. Whatever, whatever shall we do? If we don't get home soon, our porridge will be cold. Oh no. See, so how much do they even have all together? See, they have one dime, which is 10 cents. And a wooden nickel, which I don't know if that counts. So all together with the billy goat, who had 50 cents, they're up to 60 cents, right? I hate cold porridge, said Papa Bear with a worried sigh. Why not just add your money to our money, blurted out Billy Bob. Join our carpool so we can cross the bridge together. Makes a lot of sense to me, said Baby Bear. Where are my water wings? So Billy Bob added up the moolah. Billy Bo held out the pot. And Papa, Mama, and little Baby Bear jumped feet first into the carpool. <laughs> the water was just right. I still say this idea is all wet, mumbled the troll. He shook his head at the silliness and stomped into his troll booth. They're having way more fun than that troll. And then, clicky clack, clickety clack, clicky clack. Who's crossing my bridge? shouted the troll. It's only me, Little Red Riding Hood. I'm on my way to Grandma's house. Well, you can kiss seeing your granny goodbye, unless you have a bill in that basket, Missy, said the little man with a stamp and a stomp and a snort. Can't you see the sign? Oh my goodness, what a big toll you have, sighed Little Red Riding Hood. Ah, she does look upset. Let's see what she does. But all Little Red Riding Hood could find in her basket was one crummy quarter, a gooey nickel, and three sticky pennies. Hey Red, don't be blue, called out Billy Bob. Pull your resources with ours and we can cross the bridge together. Count me in, said Little Red, making a big splash. Pitiful party animals, grumbled the troll. He shook his head at their silliness and he stomped back into his troll booth. Wow, she had a lot of stuff in her bag. Or basket, I should say. All right, how much sense do they have? Okay, so we had 50 cents from the, the billy goats, and then we had 10 cents from the bears, and now we have a quarter, which is 25 cents. Oh guys, this is so much math, um, which means that 70, 85 cents, um, and a nickel, which is five cents. So we get 90 cents and three sticky pennies. So 93 cents. It was pretty close to a dollar. And then, what do you guys think this is? Clickety clack, clickety clack, clickety clack. Who's crossing my bridge? shouted the troll. It's just Jack. I'm bringing my poor mother some magic beans I traded for a cow. Beans? You need a reality check, Junior, said the little man with a stamp, a stomp, and a snort. The boy held out his hand. But all I have left are these beans and two pennies. Then hit the road, Jack, 
shouted the troll, spilling the beans into the river. Poor Jack didn't have a clue what to do. Don't worry, kiddo, called out Billy Bo. Put your two cents over here. So let's go over the math real fast. I didn't, I bet you didn't know there was going to be this much math, but we'll get through it together. Okay, so um, Billy Bob had 30 cents. Billy Bo had 20 cents. That's 50 cents. Papa Bear had um, a dime, which is 10. So that is 60. Mama Bear had the wooden nickel, which we're counting. So that's going to be 65. Um, Little Red Riding Hood had a quarter, a nickel, and three pennies. So that's 25 plus 5, 30, 33. Um, which all together is going to be 98. And um, Jack's last two cents is going to give them their whole dollar. Whew, lots of math, but we got our dollar. So splish splash in jumped Jack, who plunked down his pennies and topped off the pot. The troll stamped and he stomped. He stormed and he stewed, he snorted and cavorted until he was blue in the face. I want my money, you four-legged buttonskis, he shouted, tramping up to the carpool. Give it to me now, now, now. Mama Bear raised an eyebrow at such behavior. You know, my little fellow, I think you deserve everything that's coming to you. The troll snorted, so let me have it. Billy Bob looked at Billy Bo, who gave a nod to just plain Billy, who pulled the plug. Everybody out of the pool. Whoosh. Oh my gosh. Hey, what do you guys think is going to happen? Mm. Man overboard, called Billy Bob, tossing the troll a spare tire. And the, greedy, the grumpy, greedy little man glugged and glugged. Jack, Red, Papa, Mama, and little baby bear waved goodbye and floated safely across to the other side of the river, where they hurried home to meet their mother, visit their granny, and eat their porridge. Oh, it looks like the water from the pool swept away the troll and swept everyone right across the bridge. The three silly billies turned over the pot and dropped every last penny, nickel, dime, and quarter into the troll's troll booth. Clink, plunk, clink, clink, clunk. Exactly one dollar. And across the small wooden bridge that crossed the very deep river went the three silly billies for some fun in the sun, which would be the end. But then... Then, <gasps> clickety-clack, clickety-clack, clickety-clack. Who, oh, who's crossing my bridge now? Grumbled the troll with a soggy sigh and a gurgle. Just little old me, bellowed the giant with a sniff. fee fi fo fum is that a troll I smell? Yummy, yum, yum. Um, and we have under new management on the bridge. Oh no. What do you guys think happened? I don't even know. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> but that is the end of the book. So thank you so much for reading The Three Silly Billies with me. Um, and now we have an activity to talk more about bridges and bridge building. I hope that you will join me there. Hello everyone and welcome to the activity portion of our steam powered story um, this week. Um, we are talking about animal engineering um, and so we are going to talk about building bridges. Um, granted, um, not a ton of animals engage in very um, intense engineering, but 
Uh, beavers do build bridges and um, people actually do build bridges for animals as ways of getting them safely across um, some busy highways um, and other places where animals need to migrate from one side um, of a um, human habitation area to another. So we're going to talk about um, how to build some bridges today. I know we've already done a little bit of math in our story um, and dealt with some coins. Um, there is not as much math here, although we are going to have some coins. I have my little bag full of coins that I'm going to be using. Um, what else you need and you don't need actually to use coins specifically. They're just an easy way of something that has um, about the same weight. Um, and we'll get to that part of the testing in a moment. You also need uh, something to be the pillars of your bridge. I have two bowls. You can use uh, stacks of books or cups or um, whatever you have that is handy. I also have some just normal like printer paper. Um, you can use whatever you have on hand. And um, we are going to build a bridge um, between our two pillars um, with our paper. Um, so this is a pretty fun activity. Um, you can start off by just having your paper and it goes across and it forms a bridge, right? Um, looks pretty good. However, what we're, the way we are going to test our bridge building skills is um, with our coins or um, whatever else you have that you are going to test the bridge with. Um, I'm going to use um, my pennies because they are all going to be about the same weight. So if I put one penny on the bridge and then I put another penny on the bridge, it's not like a huge difference. It's not like I put a bowling ball on the bridge um, and then a feather or a feather first and then try to bowling ball. Those are extreme examples, but you get what I'm saying. So we have our very simple bridge and we have our penny, which is going to go on the bridge, up, okay, okay, it's still up. Oh, two pennies was too many pennies for this bridge. It is strictly a one penny bridge. So um, the real question is how can we build a better bridge? Um, and one of the ways of doing that is by incorporating folds into the bridge. So I'm going to fold this paper kind of back and forth like it was a fan. Okay. Now I have my bridge. And we're going to see how this holds up when we put our pennies on. Okay, so first penny in the bridge. That looks pretty good. It's not even like the bowing like there was on the first one. Two pennies doing so much better than the first. Now we're just gonna add pennies.
So that looks like it got up to one, two, All right, so that bridge took 13 pennies uh, before it gave out. So um, can you do better than 14 pennies? Uh, this is gonna be a challenge for you guys. Um, can you build a better bridge? The real trick is um, not to do it with tape. So. Uh, tape obviously would make it a lot more stable, but we are looking at how um, just paper can be folded to um, reinforce each other to make better bridges. Um, after all, if you had three billy goats, uh, three bears, and uh, two children, as well as all of their stuff going across this bridge, you would want to make sure that it was stable, otherwise everyone would end up in the river with the troll from our story, and that would not be fun for them. Thank you all for coming to Steam Powered Stories this week. I hope that you enjoyed our um, an animal engineering activity with our bridge building and bridge crossing. Um, we will be having another Steam Powered Story next week as part of our um, summer reading program here at the Manchester City Library. Um, I hope that you all are participating in our summer reading if you would like to. Remember, if you enter your reading minutes into the log on Read Squared, then you can have um, a chance to win one of our basket prizes, which are pretty cool. We also have some other summer reading activities where you can win fun prizes. So if you haven't checked that out, go to our website or contact um, us at the Manchester City Library to find out about what is going on there. Um, I hope that you all have a great week and I will hopefully see you soon. Bye!